On March 21, 2023, at about 4.20 a.m., police responded to the 100 block of North 10th Street. They responded to a call of a woman who had been shot. The victim was a 23-year-old sailor by the name of Elijah Rivera. EMTs attempted to provide aid to the woman. However, after she was transported to a hospital, she was declared dead. The alleged shooter was Elijah's live-in boyfriend, 29-year-old Darian Robb. Also present at the home at the time of the shooting were Darian's two minor children from a prior relationship. Darian Robb, it turns out, was married to a woman named Michelle Robb. And while they were separated and maybe they were about to start their divorce proceedings, they were still married. So before I tell you anything else about this story, the little bit that I do know, I did want to tell you two things. One, Elijah had just moved in with Darian about 10 days before she was murdered. And two, at the time of Elijah's murder, she should have been at work on the USS George Washington. However, she was at work earlier that day, but she got wind that Michelle, her boyfriend's wife or ex-wife, was at the house and that the two of them were having an affair. Anyway, Elijah got out of work early and that's where she went back home and got into an argument with whoever was present at the house. I say whoever because Elijah's family questions whether Michelle Robb was present at the time that Elijah got home or not. Because according to reports, Michelle was nowhere to be found when the police arrived on scene that day. Anyway, when police arrived on scene, they asked Darian what happened, and he told police that he shot Elijah in self-defense. Darian has been charged with voluntary manslaughter, which in the state of Virginia is equivalent to heat of passion murder. For this offense, he is facing up to 10 years in prison. Earlier this week, Darian went before a judge for a bond hearing to see if he would be let out of jail pending his case proceedings. And honestly, the judge was really considering probably bonding this guy. But then the judge heard a jailhouse call between Darian and his wife, Michelle, where they, no kidding, were plotting when he got out on bond, they were going to leave the state, change their names and go on the run. But my question is, how were they going to do this with two small children? Honestly, tell me, I want to know, like, I would like to escape. But I also have children. The judge took one listen to the call and was like, nope, bond denied. So that's where we're at. Darian has been charged with voluntary manslaughter. However, with the evidence from that phone call, I don't know what other evidence they're going to discover during this investigation. Was Elijah set up to go home early? Was Darian really the shooter or is he protecting someone else? I looked up his case on the court website and it does look like Darian's next court hearing is in June or at least it's scheduled for June of 2023. Either way, let's keep sharing Elijah's story and let's get justice for this young lady and her family. I'll keep you all posted if I hear anything else about Elijah's case, but until then, be sure to click follow.